yeah this is the question now to solve this question first of all you have to divide 2 by the first term that is 4 to the power x 2 out divide 2 by 4 to the power x 4 to the power x yeah that's nicely done here 4 to the power x now this one the first term will cancel out so we are left with 1 here now 6 to the power x over 4 to the power x the same as 6 on 4 all to the power x now don't forget we can reduce this one 6 into 2 into 6 is 3 then 2 into 4 is 2 so this one is the same as 3 over 2 all to the power x now since we have 3 over 2 here we can also rewrite this one as that so we have 9 over 4 all to the power x now 9 is the same as 3 to the power 2 see then 4 is the same as 2 to the power 2 yeah so this to the power x we have this now this one is the same as 3 on 2 then this 2 is out so we are going to get 2x well this one is power this one to is power so this one multiply that's nicely done there so let's move on so uh, just as i said the first term will cancel out we so have one plus this one as i said so we have this the two we multiply yeah so we have this one the two x here now we have three on two to the power x we have another one here three on two to the power x so we are going to replace this one with a variable now we are going to see the 3 on 2 to the power x let a variable represent that so we have this one we are going to replace this one with y so 1 plus y equals to y to the power 2 that's that so we have this one now let's arrange this so let's arrange this one we are going to get y square minus y minus 1 equal to 0 now this is a, a quadratic equation now we are going to use a method of computing the square to solve this now to compute the square of this first of all we have to make sure the term being it x or y the coefficient of the term given is 1 so make sure we have coefficient of 1 here then the next thing to do is to divide the term with the degree 1 by 2 so we are going to do that by dividing the term with the degree 1 here by 2 we have this one so this one is the same as half half y this one is the same as that this one is the same as this so the next thing to do is to reduce the powers this one y and y squared reduce this one by 1 then you square the result so we're going to square the result now this one was a square that will reduce by one and this one is one here so that will reduce by one so one minus one get zero the number two to power zero is one so we have one on two we have it here so we square the result minus always minus this one square whatever that we have here square so one square is one then 2 square is 4 so we have this one so the next thing is to send this one to the next side or we can even simplify it here before we send the other side get the same answer so we have minus 1 on 4 being 1 over 4 so we minus send to positive then minus 1 is plus 1 here so we are going to simplify this one so we have 5 
over 4 here. Now we have the y. What do we have to remove this one by taking root on both sides? By taking root on both sides. When you do that, this one will cancel this. So I will leave it y minus 1 on 2 because now this one will get root 5 plus or minus root 5 over 2. Yeah, we're going to get plus or minus root 5 on 2. So this one we can make by the subject here. So we have this one. Now don't forget the value of y must be positive. So the value of y must be greater than what zero. So we have this one. Anything greater than zero is positive. So we are going to have the positive values. We are going to remove the minus because of this condition. So we are not going to go by the minus, we are going to use the positive. So we are going to proceed by having by writing this one. Now this one is the same as this. As nicely done here. Now keep this one. Keep this one. Y equal to one plus root five on two. So the next thing to do is to find x from here. We represented this one by this. We are going to find x. After that, we substitute y. So we are going to solve this one by taking natural log on both sides. When we do that, this x will be here. That's nicely done here. After that, we divide both sides by this. When we do that, get this one. So the next thing to do is to replace our y. This one, y, we said y equals 1 plus root 5 over 2. So we're going to replace this one with this. So we have this one. The rest becomes a greater work. So it will give you 1.187 as our answer. 1.817 as our answer. Thank you for watching.